In part three of our Pascal series for the Commodore 64, we're going to take a look at Pascal 64. I'm going to begin by kicking off a compilation to show you a little bit about how it works. Uh, but essentially, Pascal 64 does not come with a lot of whistles and bells. So there is no editor. Um, there's really no syntax checker, not a whole lot that ships with the compiler. In fact, the compiler itself uh, really just simply converts your source code into a binary file. Uh, the one thing I can tell you that is nice about Pascal 64 is simply the sheer amount of features and capabilities that it has. So if you look to the user manual, you will see uh, that it does have a lot of capabilities. One annoyance though is it is extremely picky about its syntax, particularly when it comes to spaces. So as this compiles, I would like to point out that uh, once the compile is over, you will be presented with a number, which is essentially the P codes, uh, the last number of the P code. And this is important because you'll need this when you want to convert and load your program into an executable. So you notice my end of program is uh, 5590. I will need this, this number later in order to uh, perform the load operation. So let's take a quick look and we'll see here that if we do a directory listing, we can see that our file is the axis, which is uh, there, and also p slash the axis. That's the p codes that have been generated by the Pascal 64 compiler. So first, let's take a look at our source code. So let's load the axis as we would any basic program. And it does load and we can do a listing. And we'll see here that while this is Commodore BASIC that we're in, uh, this is actually not BASIC. This is indeed Pascal. Um, and so uh, obviously if I were to try to uh, run this, I'm going to get an error uh, from the BASIC interpreter. So what we can do in order to execute our program is we'll use the loader feature, which is provided uh, by Pascal64. So we'll run loader. And then once that's ready, we'll need to type run space 100. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, do that, run 100. And now it's asking us for that four digit number, uh, which it spit out at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 5590, and it's gonna ask me for program name, which we know is the axis. We're gonna hit enter. And it's now loading the P codes into memory. And then after this is done, we're going to type run and we'll see the output of our of our program. So run, our screen has been cleared. What is your name? And there we go. Chris, the year is 2019. Time to subscribe to. And it's a little buggy. Uh, you know, it, it works, but uh, obviously there's more editing to be done. So we could obviously spend the time uh, improving the program. You'll notice that uh, this is just the loader program that's in memory. So we'd have to go back and load the axis and again, spend some time making the necessary modifications as we would any basic program. So that's it for Pascal 64. Hope you enjoyed it.